back at it. But one of the things about driving the truck and sitting in that damn thing, dang, dang thing all day, you know, makes you stiff and tired, frustrated, and aggravated. But uh, it's a living. But I did a big circle. Got my last load before I get to the house. And I'm probably going to maybe order some fish or something. I don't, I don't want no, uh, none of my normal food. Probably, you know, maybe a soda. And relax and wind down, but you gotta get out here and this the this the hard part <laughs> when, when you're old and you're setting your ways you don't want to do stuff now I keep on saying I'm um, how can I be can't stop walking if I don't want to walk so I gotta get myself out here and get my body used to uh, used to exercising, used to walking, used to walking and talking. But um, that's the thing. It's 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 the breakthrough when you can keep doing when you don't want to do, or keep trying when you don't want to, because that's what that's what we're used to. We're used to the giving up real quick and the woe is me <laughs> the 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 make excuse well it's been a long day yeah it has been a long day uh, uh, and my check is really low but you know hey you know we, we just gotta remember it's ups and downs Ups and downs, highs and lows. Ups and downs, highs and lows. You know, I could be the point to the point of not having a job. So, you know, one, count your blessings. Uh, two, count your blessings. And three, count your blessings, you know? And that's the you know, the good thing about it, and it's starting to warm up. I cannot wait. Uh, I miss working in the yard. Uh, since I'm low on money, I'm just gonna get one scoop of topsoil, throw it in the bag. So every time I come home, I get at least get like a $20 scoop of topsoil, throw it on there, you know, let that, let that you know, let it break down and let it become part of the yard and keep looking for free stuff. Free stuff to keep leveling out that yard from free, you know, or low price dirt to deliver. Because a lot of times when these um, construction companies, they got tons and tons of dirt, you know, and they need a place to get rid of it. So I'm just going to keep on looking. Keep on hoping and, you know, hey, it is what it is. And, you know, staying positive and keeping up with, you know, with the walking and, and, the, and the moving and, and getting all that in there. You know, we don't put, you know, a lot of times folks, you want to see the positive the happy, the smiles, and, and not, a lot of people, you know, they just think you just did this, you know, but shoot, this is a struggle. This is a struggle. And, but I know I feel better when I do these things. I feel better when I get out here and, you know, like I said, I've been sitting on, I've been sitting in the lace you know, all that pressure for five to eight 
practice eight hours at a time. And, you know, you got to get the circulation moving. You know, especially for, you know, the, you office workers and stuff like that, same thing. Got to get that circulation moving. And uh, my thing is that I, I drink a lot of water and I, you know, release a lot of water. So I start getting, um, you know, cravings for salt. And that's where my, you know, I got to start taking my, more of my potassium pills and, and stuff like that. Um, gotta watch the salt because I do have high blood pressure. Um, but I still, I feel I get cravings. I get cravings for salty things. And I know that's what it is. Uh, but I'm starting to recognize some of my weaknesses and some of my faults so that I can start dealing with them. A lot of times when we know we got problems. We just don't want to deal with it. We want to run from it. I'm, I'm a prime example. I'd rather run from it and have to deal with it, because dealing, dealing with stuff is painful. But change, it, it change has to be painful, if it's going to be real change. You know. Uh, I got to come up, I, I, I don't know, but I, I, know, but I got to come up, I got to get something from the wife, because she bought me an anniversary gift, that, like I told her, I said, please don't, not right now, because we're low on money, I'm low on money, this will make me feel bad, but now, I got to come up with some, she says, it's not some nothing big, I know her, she's probably gotten me a, a air fryer, she knows I need one, like a little small one. But I know the stuff that she likes. And everything she gets, she deserves. But I was like, please, let's, can we hold off? Because we got a gosh darn gun cruise coming up. It's, 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 you know, the money, is, the, the debt bill is piling up. I'm like, but I have to look at it this way. I got someone who appreciates me, someone who loves, she's a gift giver. You know, I don't want to look like an a-hole, and I'm not going to look like an a-hole. I just got to figure out where the money's coming from, but we're going to do something. Because I just got one thing that I want, it's got at the end of the month, and it's that, that, that salvage lawnmower so I can get the parts off it. That's the only thing I really want. Uh, but other than that, I want to make, make her happy, make everything else happy. So... But next, I'm gonna start picking up, picking up the pace. And I got lazy on this dedicated route, picking up the pace, get a load done, get to the next load, get a load done, get to the next load. And I'm gonna stop taking four days off because there's been many times where I can get, get home through the house and had spend the night at the house. You know, I was talking to her about that, you know, earlier today. Uh, so I'm going to be moving from four days off to three days off, like come in on Friday, be back out on Monday. And so I won't be stressing out about this. I don't get paid unless I deliver. I get paid by the mile. I don't get paid by the hour. I don't get paid by whatever. So I have to be driving to get paid. The bills still come. Like anybody else. I'm not getting paid for YouTube. I just, you know, I'm just having fun doing it. But we're getting and going to get this. I'm going to force myself to get out here. But right now, normally I'd be just laying down and looking, checking out YouTube, checking out your channels. And that part of it, I got to... <laughs> I, I, you know, I got at least it's gonna be a little walk. It's gonna be a little, a little, or more, a smaller walk today, but it's still gonna be a walk. And I think I'm gonna change up the conversation for tomorrow.
because I don't want it to be heavy. I want it to be light. You know, those heavier conversations, you got to be in the mood for that. And I'm in the mood for something more positive and or silly. So hopefully I look in my, my book of subjects for something more silly. And also I got to stop putting money into money aside to get my... Or John Deere, so I'm hoping it's that switch that I think it might be. Uh, might look if I can get home early enough tomorrow to go over there and have that checked to see how much that, that switch is gonna cost me. But that's just something else. But I'm gonna hit the pause button for a second. I'm gonna go in here. See, this is uh, this is I forgot what Indian reservation this is but it's a truck stop it's owned by an indian tribe it's pretty cool the next exit up is their um casino i don't stop there i can't i could if i wanted to but i don't i like my i'm already broke as it is <laughs> so but what i'm gonna do i'll get back in just a second hey guys i'm back i just bought me a uh, two pieces of chicken and nibble on my life to wind down. But I, I got a dumb question. You know, any of you guys, you know, you, you, I know I'm not the only one that gets soda or, or, or juice or, you know, drinks or whatever. And especially since, you know, since COVID, I really don't want you touching my stuff. It's nothing personal. I don't know where you've been. And a lot of times, you know, people that uh, they get, you know, they grab your stuff. They always grab it where you're going to put your mouth. And I'm not a straw drinking person, but I'm starting to get in stores and sanitize it. The sanitize the cans and the soda drinks because they always grab it. See how this is? They always grab it right on the top. You're going to put your big old greasy hands, the same hands that you're wiping your behind, same hands that you're grabbing your, your pee-pee to go to the bathroom. I know you're in the bathroom not washing your hands. The same hands that you, you know, they're digging up your nose. I don't want to, I don't want you touching my stuff. You know, especially stuff that I'm going to put on my mouth. And then you get the same people, you know, because a lot of times I don't feel like cooking. And I just want something quick to eat. And right before they grab your food, or they cough, you know, even though they're, you know, coughing, they turn your head and cough, you're still coughing. So that means you're sick. You ain't got no gloves on. You're touching my stuff. Let me know if it's just me. I I don't know. I don't know. You know. Let's see since, since the big bug, which is still around, you know, um, and a few times a day, I started putting my mask back on. Because everybody, especially you Caucasians, you don't wear a dang on coat. It's still cold out. You, you got shorts on, short sleeves. You know, I got short sleeves now. Because I'm I'm a little hot, but cause, and it's it, it's it's warm right now. The sun's starting to go down, so I'm getting in trouble. But then you wonder why you're sick. Put something on your put something on your in, on yourselves. You guys see, I, I wear bandanas. I'm not trying to be cool, look like a biker. I get sick if I don't put something on my head. Just common sense. But we ain't got none. Just common sense. You know, I did it talking about the, the, the you know, the cruising y the, yes, th this morning. Look. And you wonder why people on these boats get sick. Wash your hands. Even if you're not on a cruise. Wash your hands. B at, before you eat, wash your hands. After you eat, wash your hands. During the day, when you go to the bathroom, wash your hands. If you got a sneeze or something in your wash your hands. 
that ain't. <laughs> Am I speaking Chinese or something? That's why stuff gets handed off. You know, I don't know. I know I sound like a nag, <sighs> but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. It's so crazy. I just can't wait to get a pile of freaking dirt tomorrow when I go home. Can't wait to get a pile of dirt and chuck it out the back of my pickup truck into my backyard. I can't wait. Because I know I know we, we, we're doing something. And I'm going at the lawn care place where I go it's staying there $200 for this, this bigger drain that holds the water. I'm going to that's the next thing, maybe uh, when I come back from the cruise in July, maybe I'll, I'm going to order the, a bigger drain. So, you know, I, I just got so many things I got to do. Um, I start painting the white trim of my house. And cleaning that stuff up because it's 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 about that time and we're gonna get that that, that taken care of I always it's, it's like I, I look at the house and find something new that needs to be fixed drives me up the wall and but it is what it is you know it's it's part of being a homeowner and wanting to have your house better than to have someone else tell you you got to do this. You got to do that. You know what I mean? Wanting to have your house look better. All right, guys. Thank you for coming along with me for my warning. Old man. That's this. That's the segment we're going to call this. The old man talk. Thank you for, you know, coming and walking with me for old man talk. Stay tuned for the morning talk. Be blessed.